why he became a Muslim. He answered, and he told us why. Let us listen. 80% of questions were, why did you become a Muslim? Today, I will answer this. My converting, inyanigo, reverting story. Okay, then here we go. How I became a Muslim without Kim. Uh, unfortunately, my first memory of Islam was 911. At that time, I was really young, like 8 years old. I watched a huge building collapse on TV. I was really shocked. And that time, I heard the word Islam on TV. So that was the first time I heard the word Islam. I don't know well, but I thought Islam is dangerous. Because media always show the negative images about Islam. War, oppression, terrorism. So I also thought that they are dangerous and strict. A lot of time passed. Actually, I was a Catholic, but I didn't interest in any religion. I was just busy at living my life. But my bad thinking about Islam completely broke down one day in Indonesia. I debuted as a singer in Korea. I was not popular, but <laughs> still. And luckily, I got a chance to have a promotion in Jakarta. But I didn't know about Islam that time. So I even didn't know that there were so many Muslim people in Indonesia. I really didn't know that. Actually, two things made me so surprised. First, they were really kind than I expected. And second is that so many girls are covering their faces with bells. I didn't even know the word hijab. And you know, Indonesia is a really hot country. So I was so curious. So I asked a girl who wear hijab, why? Are you wearing a scarf on your face? Did someone force you? And he said, I'm a diamond. Incredibly precious. So Thank you. So uh, Mr. Kim, he said many things here. And he said that he heard from the media that Islam is about terrorism. My friend, Islam, Islam is about terrorism. Let me show you. If we go right now in the Quran, and I hope people who will uh, make the video later, if you speak Korean, Please do us, do your people a favor and help the Korean people so this kid will mislead them, will not mislead them. He is a victim himself. He himself is misleaded. If I type the word terror in the Quran, what I will find? We will find that Allah, he says it clearly, he will install terror in the heart of anyone who don't believe in Islam. Chapter 3, verse number 151. We will cast terror in the heart of the unbelievers. So the media did not even tell you the truth. Actually, the media always defend Islam. They say, uh, as an example, the media you are talking about, CNN, they say, uh, Al-Qaeda don't, don't present Islam. ISIS does not present Islam. But the fact, the Quran, does the Quran present Islam? Does Allah present Islam? Does Muhammad present Islam? If we go right now to the same chapter in the Korean language, let us see. What the Korean will translate this sentence? I will take the Korean translation, which is made by Muslims, obviously, and I will paste in Google translation. I don't speak Korean, as you know. I wish I do. Copy, paste. Translation, let's do it to English. To English. Translation to English, all right. God will cause fear. You see how the liars, they, they fool you? The word terror became fear. The word terror became fear. Let us do this. I will switch and I will change the language from English to Arabic. And then I will copy the verses from the Quran as it is from Arabic. Be my witness. Copy and then paste. This is the Arabic text and this is your Korean translation. Huh? It says no connection. Here we go. I, I don't know why it says there, but it should say terror. So Allah, he is the one who ignite the Muslims to do terror. And those who say to you that Islam is about peace, they are a bunch of liars. Now let me ask you, is Muhammad a good person? Is he a terrorist or he is a good Muslim? Because according to you, Muslims are nice, etc. By the way, I have no problem to say that because yes, there is many Muslims are nice, but this is not real Muslims. 
Real Muslims is the one who follow Muhammad order. As an example, if we go right now and we check in the hadith, which is your the, the prophet of Islam words, not my words, and I type the word terror, you will see that Muhammad saying, I was victorious by terror. Do you see it? And this is a very sahih hadith. How he was victorious, not by wisdom, not by the speeches he make, not by convincing people to, to join Islam, no. I was victorious. See the translation here is false. It says, I was being helped by terror. Okay, how Muhammad was helped by terror, for he is a terrorist. If we take this words, actually let us do this. I will take this, uh, I will use Google translation. Uh, I will translate the whole page. Hold on, give me a second. I will translate the whole page. This is the page as it is, as you see. And I will use Google Translation. I will, tra I will translate, not to Indonesian, I will switch to Korean. Now it shows Indonesian. All right. I will switch the language to Korean. Where is the Korean? Here we go. Translate. I don't know what it says there. As you know, I don't speak Arabic. I don't speak uh, uh, Korean. So I will take this text as it is to see what it says there. Maybe we can understand better. And you will see that even the stupid Google translation exposing the lies they gave you that Muhammad was nothing but a terrorist. I will post and I will exchange the translation. La ara'a farra ara'a huwa Rasulullah. What is that? I hope this translation is the same in English. No, ara, fora, ara, Allah, messenger, and choice. What is this? <laughs> translation is horrible. But anyway, this guy, he speak English, right? So he have no excuse. All right? He have no excuse to say, oh, uh, uh, I don't understand. It says, I've been victorious by terror. Let us see. What, what else? Muhammad, he said, I've been ordered to kill all mankind except Muslims. The word here, uqatil, it means fight to kill. The Messenger of Allah said, I have been commanded to kill all mankind, all of them, no exception, until they testify that there is no true God except Allah and Muhammad is his messenger. So they told you that they're nice and peaceful and Islam is peace. And so who was the terrorist Muhammad then? They didn't they tell you. I mean, you did not go and search in Google for two minutes. And you found that Muhammad was riding a caravan, which means he was a thief attacking people in the street, taking their wallet. And this is Muhammad himself saying, I am a, a person being ordered to kill anyone. Anyone, not the one is attacking me. They say to you, oh, Islam is defending themselves. No, read carefully. I have been commanded to fight the people, any people, any human being. Until what? Until they stop attacking me? No. Until they stop... Uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 like uh, launching war on me? No. Until they say the Shahada, which you say to yourself. So this poor kid, they lied to him and they told him Muhammad was a peaceful person. Well, isn't it the Quran in chapter 9, verse number 29, says that Allah, he ordered the Muslims to kill all the infidels and specifically the Christians? This is the Quran, chapter 9, verse number 29. And the purpose of this attack is either you convert to Islam or you pay money. And now because you are a lucky person, you don't live under Islamic state, so you are not going to be forced to pay jizya, which is have to be with humiliation, which means you have to be humiliated. The Muslims have to spit in your face every day in the top of paying the money to protect you from them. You ask the Muslims, why we pay jizya? They say to protect you. Okay, protect me from who? From us. 
<laughs> they come to your land they occupy your country they take your country and now they, uh, you have to pay them so you can live and this is where the word mafia came in from in Italy when the Muslim they occupy part of Italy the Islamic mafia which is the, the true Islam the Quran as you see force the jizya on the Christians so pay and live so when the Muslim left and being kicked out from Italy the gangs took over and they practice what they learn from Muslims the true Muslims not the one you see in your YouTube a bunch of dummies from the true Muslim they learn that we should force people to pay for protection and this is what gang people do until now for Muhammad was nothing but a gang so they say to you that Islam is peace you know, they might say to you, Christian Prince is lying to you. This is not a true. We are fighting those who they are fighting us. No, my friend. First of all, read carefully. Islam is a racist cult. Islam says anyone is not a Muslim is najis. The pagan are najis, not any clean. You see, translation here says any clean. Imagine Mr. Kim. And I say to you, mister, because I must speak to you as an adult, and I assume that you're an adult now, right? Not a kid no more. Imagine that somebody say to your friend who is a Christian or an atheist in Korea, you are najis. I want you to check the word najis. What does that mean? Do you know what najis mean? If you touch your shit, excuse my language, that is najis. A Christian person in Islam is shit. A Jewish person in Islam is shit. And the funny Muhammad, because he is a hypocrite, he said to them, the Christian are shit, but you can marry from them because he want to spread the number of Muslims. So the Christian, they will have less women and the Muslim will have more women to spread more babies. Actually, you said something about women in Islam and we will go there because you just remind me that the Quran even say that women are shit. Excuse my language. This is the Quran. You told me that the Muslim women, she told you, we cover ourselves because we are like pearls. Did she say that to you? She is like a pearl. My friend, the Quran says, a Muslim man, his prayer is not accepted if he do the following. If he touch his poopoo or he touch a woman. So the Quran make the women equal to poopoo. Read carefully. If you know how to read. Hmm? He said, speaking about what is accepted for a prayer. If you come from the call of nature, or if you've been contacted with women, then you have to wash. Otherwise, you can't pray. So Muhammad, he made women equal to Pupu. This is a chapter 4, verse number 43. We can go to the Korean translation and see what the Korean said about that. And for sure, they will give you all kind of lies to fabricate the translation. Never learn Islam from Muslim translation. I know, my friend, I know. We do not need to repeat that he failed. But this is not his fault, my friend. He's a kid. The person, he is a kid, and this is, can happen to your kid too. Many kids are seeking to be stars, want to be, be loved, they want to be in the spotlight. So I don't blame him. He's just a kid. The problem is he grew in a society. Nobody care for God and nobody teach him what the cult of Islam is. And he never go to a church. He said that too. He never, he, he's, a, he's a Christian by name. So this is, he is a victim of a society, became so much obsessed with media tv music dancing garbage all kind of you know make a video about food and see how many people watch it and make and look at it see how many people will watch christian prince video this is the translation in the korean language to chapter 4 verse number 43 i will take it and i will post in google peace upon him Let us see what the Korean translation says about that. 
when you are back this is the detail about how to pray if you are back from the bathroom or if you touch a woman you should you should find water and wash <laughs> so this girl the muslim girl you told her why you wear hijab she said to you because we are like a diamond when the quran says that those women are equal to poopoo this is what the women she said to you we are like diamond Some Muslim, they might say to you, oh, if you have sex with your wife, you have to wash. No, my friend. No, 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 no. You see, the Quran does not say if a woman, she touch a man, she have to wash. Touch, touch. This is touch. La mastum. The word in Arabic, if you touch. The Quran never say if a woman, she touch a man, she have to wash. Only if a man, he touch a woman, he have to wash because women are the dirty. According to the faith of Muhammad. And this Muslim woman, she told you that she is covering because she is equal to what? Diamond? My friend, if you have diamond, you let it shine. What is the value of diamond if you put, uh, 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 if you put it inside the garbage bag? And you hide the beauty of the, of the diamond. If we respect the diamond, then we let the diamond shine as God, he created her. Not by covering her, oppressing her. And now let us see about your diamond, my friend. Did you tell your friends in YouTube that the Quran says you can beat your wife? I mean, we have a diamond, but we like to beat it. If we go in the same chapter, chapter three, uh, four, verse number 34, it says, women are in charge of, uh, uh, men are in charge of women because Allah has made one of them excel on the other. And because they spend money on their property to support them, Mr. Kim, the Quran saying that you are in charge of women because women is like a prostitute. You spend some money on her, so you own her. It's like a prostitute, you pay her, and now she has to do service. That's what the Quran saying, read it. He spent some money from their property. Why they are in charge of them? Because he spent money from their property. Very simple. And then he continue. So good women, let us see who is the good women, are the one who is obedient guarding in secret that which Allah has guarded and what is that Allah guarded to wear hijab to cover herself to die when she is alive you just said Indonesia is so hot how in the world we force women to wear hijab in a very hot country and those for, from whom you fear rebellion ah those are the bad women what the bad women do fear rebellion they might say to you oh if your wife she have sex with somebody else it's a lie a woman she have sex in Islam with a different husband, different man, she will be stoned to death. And by the way, did you tell your friends that women in Islam, if they have adultery, they will be stoned to death? Are you going to practice tomorrow in Pakistan, stoning some women for doing adultery, Kim? So you are telling them that Islam is nice, Islam is peace, Islam is beautiful, Islam is etc. When the Quran is saying that kill the women, Beat the women and read carefully. Those women who you fear their rebellion, admonish them and banish them in the bed apart and scourge them. Do you know what scourge them mean? Mean beat them. If we go to the Indonesian translation for this verse, and actually I saw the translation already because I wanted to check. They say in the translation, beat them lightly. Beat them what? Lightly, brother, lightly. You know what, Kim? If you can show me the word lightly in Arabic, I will shave my 20-foot beard. Actually, it became now 21 uh, foot. I, I just measured it yesterday. I took the translation. I don't speak Korean, as you know. And I took it to Google to translate the translation. <clears throat> and look what I found. Let us see. What happened? What happened to the translation? Look what it says here. And women uh, uh, who they are is deemed to be desperate, uh, then don't sleep with them. Third, uh, beat them lightly. You know what, Kim? I want you to ask the Muslim, can we find the word first and second and third in the Quran? Or this is a fabrication? Let us see. I'm going to copy the word as it is from the Quran in Arabic. 
and I will post it and we will see where the word and beat them lightly the Quran say beat them lightly I will shave my 25 meter mustache if I can find the word lightly in the Quran where is the word lightly let us go and see the Arabic and we take it and paste it in Google and see what Google will say to us lightly huh <laughs> yeah the Muslim they think we have a lightly brain we are stupid and we are naive and they fool us by false translation so now we copy as you see in front of your eyes the word in Arabic and then we go to uh, Google translation and I will switch the language and I will change from English I will choose Arabic and now I will post here the verse now I don't know what is going to be said in the other side all right this is what it says in the Korean language now I have no idea really what it says so what I will do now I will switch this language here hold on I will switch and then I will choose to English the screen is too wide okay what do you mean you mean too narrow maybe all right so uh, English what the translation here is really horrible what is that I can't understand the word this is supposed to English translation in Google I think Google is doing something funny here what happened there is no way the trans the translation is saying that the translation of Google saying this oh this is sorry this is a uh, this is chapter 43 did we copy chapter 43 no we copy this one 34 so what the translation is coming so funny you see Kim I don't know what they are translating to you but they are lying to you they are a bunch of flyers now let us see your opinion in that I want you to make a video to answer me about beating women and let us say for the sake of argument the Muslim they say beat you beat her lightly do you really accept yourself to beat your wife lightly what about I spit on you this is very light hmm? if somebody spit on you how light it is more than a spitting isn't it this is a big insult so isn't it shame that there's a God he is teaching you to beat your wife Is it shame on you that you are a person who grew up in Korea and Korean they have a great ethic a great people wonderful people now you believe that the Quran is the book to teach you how to treat your wife and then the Muslim when they say to you lightly how lightly it is what about your what about the Quran says if the man he is not obeying the wife the wife she can beat him lightly I'm sure you will like it ah and they will say to you uh, we beat her with tooth is a stick what this is a big fat lie this is the prophet of the Muhammad and this is Aisha Aisha is explaining that Muslim women are the most suffering women you told me that that women she told you that we are like diamonds can you say that again please So I was so curious, so I asked a girl who wear hijab, why are you wearing scarf on your face? Did someone force you? And he said, I'm a diamond. Incredibly precious. So I don't want to show this to other people. No, no my friend, she is not a diamond in Islam. She is, a, she is nothing. This is why if she is a diamond, the husband, he will put her in the top of his crown. Not he will have four of them in the bed. And not will be allowed to divorce her by a text message and will not be allowed even to rent her and pay her money to take off her clothes and he will not be allowed to be beating her so Kim what is your brain are you still a kid or you are an adult that's a good question I want everybody who is listening and I encourage all the Korean who watch this video Please translate and add subtitle, printed subtitle, so every Korean will see that this person, he have nothing to do with Islam. He is just a fool 
fool himself and he's trying to fool others maybe he's seeking attention maybe because he he, he fell in, in korea as he said nobody listened to him nobody gave him attention so he went to indonesia and suddenly he have a lot of subscribers and then okay i convert to islam and then suddenly he boom but your friend my friend you are no one except that you are a fool and the proof is here we go i'm showing that everything you said is wrong in the hadith here we see that Aisha she said I never saw a woman she came to complain to Aisha about her husband who he did beat her until her skin became greener than her clothes her skin what greener read carefully Aisha said that a lady came wearing a green veil and complained to her to Aisha of her husband and showed her a green spot in her skin caused by beating. The narrator, he said, it was the habit of the lady to support each other, which means those ladies are stupid. They are supporting each other, but they don't understand. They are they're stupid, you know, like they don't know what they are talking about. So when Allah Messenger came, Aisha said, I have not seen any women suffering as much as a believing woman. So Aisha herself is witnessing that the most horrible life for a woman is a Muslim woman. Who said that? Aisha herself. Read carefully. I have not seen any women suffering as much as a believing woman. Look, her skin is greener than her clothes. And then what Muhammad did? Did he say to the man, shame on you, to beat your wife? No, he gave him a verse from the Quran, says, beat them. And not only that, he forced the women to be raped by this man who is supposedly the husband. The husband said, well, uh, her intention is to go back to her previous husband. Muhammad, he said to her, if that is your intention, you should know it's unlawful for you to remarry Rifa, the previous uh, previous husband, unless Abdul Rahman has sexual intercourse with you. In fact, the, the Arabic translation, the, the, that Arabic word doesn't say that. It says in Arabic, until he tests your juice, your cum. Look how filthy this prophet is. Then the prophet, after he said that to her, he said to her clearly that you cannot go back to the husband, previous husband, unless you sleep with the new husband. And that because the Quran says so. So, Kim, let me tell you something, my friend. If you want to divorce your wife and you are a Muslim now, and you divorce her three times, brother, do you know that she cannot go back to you unless she sleep with someone else and marry him and sleep with him for at least a few times or maybe once at least? And then she get back to you. You are following the most garbage, trashy religion ever. If we go and look in the Quran, because you might say, uh, that doesn't say that. Where are you where are you get this, uh, you know, from? Let it go. Here we go. <laughs> Chapter 2, verse number 230. If a husband, he divorces his wife, and this is talking about divorcing the wife for the third time. She cannot go back to the previous husband unless she remarry. She cannot go and remarry him until after she marry another guy and then she come back to him. <laughs> so the woman, she told you, we are like diamond. So this is Miss Diamond now. Her husband divorced her and she have 10 kids from him. And she want to return back, not because she cared for the guy, but mostly because she cared for her kids, as all mothers do. So now she is desperately trying to get back. So now what is the solution to get back? She have to go and find the guy, take off her panty, and he do boom, boom to her. And then after that, she can go after he finished with her and he rape her because this is a rape. She's been forced to marry this guy. As you see, we just showed you the story of this woman who been forced to have sex with the guy who she don't want. The whole story here is beating her because she don't want to sleep with him. 
and her intention she married him just because she said she said to herself okay i will marry him for a day or two and then i will not sleep with him and then he he, he will hate me divorce me and then i can go back to my previous husband it was a solution because the, of the crazy the mad muhammad so the muslim women she told you we are like diamonds do you beat diamonds do you force them to wear veil do you know that women in Islam, they have no inheritance equal to the man? Do you know that Muhammad, he forbid them even to be witnesses except in the case of borrowing money? Do you know that the Quran says that two women are equal to one man in the case of witness and only in the case of money? In the case of murder, women are not accepted. Even if there's a million women, they are not accepted to witness in the court for they are half a brain. She told you we are diamond. Do you have a law in Korea It says women are not accepted to be a witness in the court because she is half a brain? She told him, we are like diamonds. You made me cry, my friend. This is true. This is very true. Chapter 2, verse number 282. The Quran make it clear that women are half brain like you mr kim but trust me women are not half a brain me myself i have a mother she have a brain of 20 men shame on you kim to believe in such a garbage believing that women are half a brain the fact the one who half a brain is the one who said that statement because if you look with me, you will see, it says that if one of them forgot the other one, she will remind her. Who is the other one? Other women. Two women are equal to one man as a witness in the case of borrowing money only. But all of us, we knew a man, he might, don't, he might not remember what he ate for lunch yesterday. A woman, she can remember a party she did enjoy a year ago. She can tell you what women they were dressing, what the makeup they have what the ear they were wearing, what the color of their dress, when the guy, he cannot even remember what the color of his shoe or his suit he was wearing. So when Muhammad, he claimed that women have half a brain and they have a very bad memory, they are because Allah, he made them stupid. He is the one who is stupid. For women, they are way better than men into details. The opposite of men. What kind of religion this religion is? If there is no two women, two men, then a man and two women. Such of your choice, which means what? Even if there is two women, we have to approve them still. They have to go through interview because they are women. You don't know, they are half a brain, brother. Actually, Muhammad in the hadith, he said, <laughs> look at this filthy. He said that women, they are naqisatu aqlin wa deen. They have half a brain and half religion. And he claimed that most of women, they will go to hell. Did the lady he told, she told you that she is a diamond. Did she tell you that most of women, Muslim women, they will go to hell? This is your prophet now. Have fun. Kim, you have a prophet. His name is Muhammad. He's a child molester. And we will talk about that, by the way. Because women, they are diamond to the point we force children who they are female at the age of six to sleep with the man at the age of 54. Do you see how much diamond we are talking about? Shame on you. Muhammad, he said to the women, Oh, women, gay, pay charity. For most of you, you will go to hell. One woman, she said, why will we go to hell? He said, because you have a lacking of wisdom. And this is false translation. It says you have... You, you, your brain is not complete it's a half a brain and you have half religion then the woman she said what is our how we have deficiency in our brain and where is our deficiency in our religion he said the lack of your brain is a proven and judged by the Quran where it says two women are equal to one man which the verse we showed you in the Quran already so they told you that women are like diamond in Islam. And now what the Muslim, they will say to you, this is Da'if. No, this is Sahih. 
This is very sahih, which means very authentic. And look how stupid this man Muhammad, by his saying, saying that, he claimed that women, they will go to hell because they have menstruation. Because they asked him, what is the lack of our religion? He said, well, isn't it true that when you have your menstruation, you cannot practice some forms of a prayer? Well, you are the one who forbid them from doing it. So a woman have menstruation, she will go to hell? <laughs> this is the reason for women to go to hell. And this is the reason that the women are not equal to the man. And this is the reason that the women, she is going to be the majority number of hellfire. For she have half a brain. And why? Because supposedly Allah, he made them stupid. And look how stupid Muhammad is. If I have half a brain, isn't it Allah who made me half a brain? So how I can be punished for having, having a lack of intellect as Muhammad said? I mean, have you have ever heard of a stupidity like this? Who is the one who created the woman? Let us assume for the sake of argument, women have lack of intellect, as Muhammad claimed, which is stupid to say. But who is the one who created women with this deficiency, as Muhammad claimed? Isn't it Allah? Who is the one who gave them the brain they have and the ministration they have? So Allah will punish them for how he created them. And as you see, this is Sahih. But Mr. Kim, a Muslim woman, she told him, we are like diamond. Now, if you are going to download the video, you can copy the part where he said that a Muslim woman, she told him that she is like a diamond and then copy the video, cut the video where I spoke about women in Islam to make it more usable. Because usually people are lazy. Just copy the whole video and post it. Make it short. You see, my video is long because I'm trying to explain and then you cut it off. All right. What else, Mr. Kim? What make you convert to Islam? Additional that women are diamond, which prove that this is absolutely false. Ah, I forgot. I don't want to miss this. The prophet who consider women like diamond, as you claim, he had a wife. She is six years old. You told me that when first time you heard about Islam, you were eight years old. Speaking about how small you were. How can you believe that there is a prophet, a man who respects himself? He go after a child at the age of six. Actually, Muhammad, he asked for the hand of Ummu Habiba when she was in the age of nursing. You believe it? She's, she's just, she just finished nursing, suckering. She just finished suckering. And he said, if a Muhabiba she grow, she will be my wife. And he have her. What kind of a man? He look at an infant and he say she will be mine. What kind of a man? He go after a child. She is six years old. If you want, you can go and search in Google for a six years old child. And let us see how old they are. And imagine that this is a man. He is 54 years old with a child at this age. So you are telling the Korean Kim that in Islam women are like diamond. The only diamond I see is in a full eyes. Look at your eyes, my friend. You look like a drunk person. Tell us more. Nobody forced me. This is my choice and I'm so proud of it. First of all, that's a lie. A Muslim woman, if she don't wear hijab, she will be beaten. This is why in Saudi Arabia, they have an Islamic police. Maybe in some countries, they don't do that, but the family is the police there. She's been forced to, and they lie. They say, we are not forced to. Now, I can believe her if she lived maybe in the West, and she say, okay, I want to wear hijab. That will be more to believe. But she live in Indonesia, and she is saying to you, I'm wearing hijab by choice since when? Hmm. I'm not from Indonesia. I do not know their culture, really. But according to Islam, a woman, she have to wear hijab, Otherwise, she will be beaten by the husband because this is a rebellion. Muhammad, he said that the women, she have awrat, 10 awrat. One of them is her voice. Even her voice is a vagina. That's what awrat means. 
just to show you how stupid you are. If we go in the Quran right now, and by the way, don't be offended for saying the word stupid. I mean it. For now, you are stupid. I hope you will repent and you will come back to your brain. In chapter 33, verse number 53 in the Quran, it says, O who you believe, enter not the house of the Prophet until is given to you for a meal. Muhammad is even cheap. People come in, poor people come in for a meal. He kicked them out. Don't enter, don't enter, don't come here. Okay? I don't have food for you. All right? And when you, only when you are invited to enter. And then he says, if you want to speak to the women of the Prophet, you have to speak from behind the veil, from behind the curtain. Do you see it? And if you want anything, ask them from before a screen. This is a stupid translation before a screen. So a Muslim woman, she have no choice to wear hijab or not. Actually, it's not a hijab. In Islam, hijab is not something to put in the dress in the top of her head. Muslims are naive people do not understand the Quran. As you see, you speak from behind the curtain. You don't put the curtain in your head. So a Muslim woman, she is not allowed to show herself anything of herself. She have to be totally hiding behind the curtain because she is a diamond, right? Or because Muhammad considered them nothing but a private part and a sexual target. So this is what they told you. They are diamond. No, this is not a choice. This is an order in Islam. And we can show you tons of fatwa. Anyone can go on right now and search about, is it, if a Muslim, she don't wear hijab, is she disobeying Allah and deserve punishment? You will see the answer, yes. Her husband, her brother, her father can beat her. Until she wear it. What else? I don't know. I don't want to make the video long, but it's 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 getting longer, right? Can you believe it? How they fool you? And now they are using this poor kid. Yeah, and why? By the way, the woman, the diamond woman herself, she will be a sex toy in the heaven. The man, he will get at least seventy-two women and three and eighty thousand boys. What the woman she will get? She herself, she will be a sex toy for the man in the heaven. And she told you we are like diamonds. The word diamond, actually, my friend, is an insult. For women are not diamond. Women are a human being. They are not something to buy. When you say women are diamond, that means we can buy them. And yes, your prophet, he ordered to purchase women. If we go in the hadith, sahih hadith, your prophet, he allow Muslim women to rent their private part per night. The Muslim, they call it muta. The Muslim Sunni Indonesia, they will say, oh, this is the Shia. That's a lie. This is your prophet. This is not Shia. Your prophet is Shia. And the Quran, chapter 4, verse 24, it says, فَمَا اسْتَمْتَعْتُمْ بِهُنَّ uh, 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 pay them their wages. Those who are you, you enjoy their vagina, pay them, pay them their wages. Actually, in some verses it says instead of stamtatum bihinna, it says bihi, which means their vagina. Pay for what you enjoy. Yet, what enjoy what their vagina. The prophet said. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari, this is Sahih, as you see. Allah Messenger said, If a man and a woman agree, and look, the Muslim, they put for you a bracket for diamonds. <laughs> they say temporary marriage. Have you ever heard of a cult allow you to marry a woman for one night? Since when we can call this marriage? It's a prostitution. Their marriage should last for three nights and if they like to continue, they can do so. Okay. But what is that? Based on what? Paying money. 
billion money. Right? All is about paying money. The woman, she will be renting herself to a customer who is seeking rental. Actually, even the Muslims, they have no, they are not shy to say, yes, we rent women. Let me show you. Because you might say, well, I don't know what you are talking about. Where do you get this from? Right? Where do you get this from? That muta is rental. It is not what we say. It is what they say. Read with me carefully, my friend. This is an Islam.org, very Islamic website. And they are talking about what the muta. There is four pillars of muta. And the four pillars concentrate in sex and money. The man he offer, the woman she accept, he pay her, she take off her panty. But look what their Mus your Muslims friends, your scholars, they explain to us about muta. It is a rental. In some work, a special terms applied for women who appreciate in muta, musta'ajara, musta'ajara mean rented, or rented women. Muta is considered as a kind of rental because in general means basic aim is this kind of marriage is sexual enjoyment of the women. This is the diamond. The diamond, she is allowed to rent her private part in return of payment. And in return of this enjoyment, the women she receives certain amount of money or a property. So you told the Korean that women in Islam, they are like diamond? Hey Kim, are you going to rent a diamond? I mean, you're coming rental wife? I heard about renting cars, renting a boat, uh, uh, renting a house. But renting women, I did not. But obviously they are diamonds. I mean, that's it. Kim, he is advising you. The Muslim woman told me she is like diamond. I mean, are you blind? Can't you see that we are diamond, but we are for rent, for sexual enjoyment? Koma Sutra. What's wrong with this then? Did it fool you? Are you a fool? I will make more videos, but I want to show you another video he, he, he made. 